How's it going, everybody? You see we got another load of hay right here sitting at the elevator. We're about to unload another load of hay. My dad's just picking some sweet corn right now, and then we're going to unload this one. So um, I figure I'm just kind of throwing this all together. So I'm going to do an update on where we're at with the hay. I'm going to unload this quick, so I'll show you guys unload that. I will obviously be up in the hay mouse, so I'll show you guys kind of where we're at with our hay situation and everything. And uh, this is off the last field, the first cutting that we're just trying to get we've had some nice weather this week we've been really fortunate so we're just trying to push forth and get push forth push forward and try to get uh the first cutting done so uh what we're doing now is we're making the push we really haven't had the hay help this year either you know the we've uh had one kid a couple days he's been able to come help but he's been pretty busy uh, another one of our main kids has been pretty busy this summer so it's kind of just been just us so that's kind of hard to do to, uh, to do everything and unload too so we've been kind of just getting it in little pieces it's slower, but we've been getting it. Um, so anyway, plus we got oats coming up to do. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unload this hay. Uh, you guys get to see me sweating and cursing like crazy. Unload this hay up in the hay now. Show you guys where we're at with our hay. Then I'm gonna show you a video from the other day when I ran up the road and got the combine out of storage, bringing that back. And I uh, hooked the 45 onto the grain cart because we need to get ready for oats this weekend. So I'm gonna show you guys all that in this video. So before I go too much further into this video, and no, I'm not just procrastinating so I don't have to go back up to the hay mail, but I just wanted to give a special birthday shout out to one of my subscribers, Austin. Austin, thumbs up to you, buddy. I met you down at the Broome County Fair this year. You stopped me and said hello. I really appreciate it. I always love when people stop me and say hello and say they love the channel. So anyway, thumbs up to you. I hope you have the best birthday ever. Man. here we are in this mow we're not too far away from the elevator right now this is the uh i'm out of breath from stacking but here's the other side here's the other where i call the um the milkers mow because they have shoots on each side that drop down to the mangers of the cows in the middle here is where we put our second cutting and this doesn't go all the way to the floor so uh, we need we don't have much second cutting in here wrap up this first cutting get some oats done and uh, Either gonna start bailing second cutting or start chopping third one or the other but We plan on getting this stacked up there, too oh, By the time we get that field up there done. We should be close to the top of the elevator 
Uh, you got the other elevator up there. I get asked all the time, why do we have two? That's the old one from when I was a kid. Uh, if you watch the history of the farm video, that's the elevator that connected to the original one my dad put in. And it's got quite a steep peak or pitch, so he decided to lower it a little bit so the bales weren't going as straight up. He's gonna move that wagon now, so. Anyway, that's how we're looking in here as of right now. I don't knock on wood, but looks like we're in decent shape with first cut. We gotta see what we get with uh, second. So if uh, the second cut goes up the elevator, then I'll be happy and I'll say we're in good shape, but not looking too bad. Like I said, the mile's dividing the third, so we put the milkers first cutting over there because we can throw it right down to them. Uh, we call this heifer hay. We can throw it down this chute and throw it out the front into the loader or the Kubota or something and take it wherever we need to take it. And then of course you got the second cutting, which also goes down the same chute as the first cutting for the milkers. So I'm exhausted. We just got done doing some hay. Uh, about ready to head up the road and uh, fire up the combine. It's uh, gonna be time for the oats here soon. So gonna go up, uh, we put the combine up the road at a neighbor's place and storage for the winter. And uh, I made a video over the winter. I went up and fired it up and it fired it off no problem. So I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna fire off again no problem. I'm hoping it does. But yeah. uh, has the corn head on it. Like I said, once we got done with corn, we cleaned it all up. And, um, blew it all out, cleaned it all up. You come, what are you doing? and uh put it away for the winter so we got to bring it back undo the corn head put the green head on it and get it all ready to go for oats so let's head up the yep. road and fire up the combine yep. she's like molly is she yeah just like molly when she sees a new person she goes. She's gotta check everybody out huh yeah. oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. thanks buddy thank you All right, I don't see any mice in here. That's a good sign. No mice? No, no mice. Right. Yeah, that's what I say. Just leave that right open right now. Okay. All right. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hey, it fired up in the winter time. I'm yeah. sure it'd fire up in the uh, summer, huh? Let's yeah. let it warm up a little bit. Park and break on. There we go. He yelled at me. Yep. Oh. We need to get around this tractor. She parked real close. Yeah. Gonna start cutting it. Here, sit down so I can see, please.
another beautiful day. I have to unload hay later. But I'm gonna continue getting things ready for harvest because, well, it's part of this video. So today, or for right now, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the uh, 45. We have the combine sitting right there. The 45, 55 sitting next to the combine. We were not able to pull that, as you guys seen in previous videos. If not, go check out me just sitting in the tractor watching rain. Um, I get a mower down here. But for some extra weight, I put the arms back on it and put the quick hitch back on. So we don't use anything with a three-point hitch. So we take them off because they just sit there and clang and bang all around the tractors. So I'm gonna pull this up to the shop. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna put the PTO adapter on because this has the large 1000 PTO and the grain cart has the small 1000 PTO. And I know some people have said, well, why don't you just put the 4055 on? And the reason why is when that grain cart is full, that is a heavy, heavy thing. Heavy, heavy piece of equipment and this 45, uh, you need to have your tractor on it. So anyway, gonna get this up there, take them off and uh, get this hooked up to the grain cart. Get that ready to go. You guys may as well hear it start up. I know how everyone loves to hear the... So I'm gonna hop in a wheel loader. What we got on it? We got the bale spear on it right now. I'm gonna hop in a wheel loader, put the forks on it, and then I'll come up behind there and kinda pick that with the forks. That is one heavy attachment. We got the spacers on each side. I want to make sure they stay together. So, one down. That's it. That. So I'm gonna throw my adapter on now that goes from the large 1000 down to the small 1000. Tell you what, I am melting like crazy. It is already, the humidity is like insane. I cannot wait to unload some hay, let me tell you. I have a feeling it's not any cooler up there. Going late. 
later in the night and I couldn't see my truck too good. I had to bring my spotlight out. So I buy these lights to put on there. Figure, oh, perfect, we're good to go. Then we never harvested it at night again. Now we're ready for the next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this thrown together video of doing hay and getting things ready for harvest season. Uh, like I said, we're slowly, um, slowly chipping away at that last field to get first cutting done uh we're just about done and it's uh we're ready to go start some oats ready to get that combine fired up and ready to get it going trust me i'm ready uh ready to start harvest that's for sure so anyway i'm gonna get inside and get some dinner and i am it's so humid outside i'm starting to melt so anyway thumbs up if you like this video drop me a question or comment below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you have thumbs up to you i totally appreciate it uh check out the um about and store tab for Mike B7810 merch and P.O. Box, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.